Hey guys, in today's video I'm doing another exciting Urban Revivo haul. As you guys love the last one so much, I thought why not do another one? I do really love their pieces and they have a lot of really Chanel inspired pieces which are fantastic. The quality is amazing, the cuts are amazing and the sizing for someone who's five foot is fantastic. We're going to start off on a high note with one of my favourite pieces I picked up. This is a collarless tweed jacket and it has this chain detailing all around this really does look like a chanel piece i've actually looked at obviously it's different it's not exactly the same we're not buying ripoffs we're buying inspired pieces and if you're someone that doesn't like to spend too much on luxury ready to wear or you still want to have like an inspired piece this is the perfect brand it's something i can actually wear like this with jeans and t-shirt or it's something i can wear more formally with like a pair of black pants or a black skirt and i absolutely love it i'm wearing size small in this I do have quite broad shoulders so I don't want to go extra small these are real pocket these ones are also this one is also a real pocket any brand that incorporates real pockets is just winning in my books this is what the back looks like I'll show you guys a close-up of the detailing look at these gold buttons so nice the brand is super affordable which is what I absolutely love it's like you can get a piece of Chanel for literally less than $100 and you can belt it for like a little peplum look I picked out certain outfits which I know are like designer inspired and I'm gonna really love wearing so I hope you guys enjoy this video I almost forgot about this jacket which is again another very Chanel inspired piece it is stunning it's in this cream kind of tweed almost looks like boiled wool feels like boiled wool which is nice it's also got this gold button detailing which complements the gold belt that i'm wearing everything kind of has to match when it comes to me i'm i'm still like iffy about mixing gold and silver not when it comes to jewelry but when it comes to like outfits i'm still not there yet i love this again collarless jacket vibe it's got silk piping almost and like trim down the front black buttons which can be buttoned up I did pick up the size small and another cute little schoolgirl look. I love this piece. It's honestly so cute. Again, it can be belted, it can be worn with jeans, it can be worn very casually or very formally. It can even be worn to work. So next we have this little knit dress, which I am obsessed with because it hugs me in all the right places, makes me feel fantastic about my body and I'm obsessed. Like it just feels so good this is in the smaller size it does have a tie neck which actually is attached okay cute you can even add like a little brooch i love that it doesn't have buttons that like open down the front it's just got this button detailing i don't know if you guys can see it is perfect it's a perfect length again with the shoes usually i wouldn't really pair white dresses with tights but because this does have black detailing i feel like it can work and also it is for autumn winter i love this i think this is a perfect amount of coverage for dubai winter though saying that it did get extremely cold last year and i was contemplating shipping my fur out it was really cold don't forget we are in a desert so this is this little dress the back i actually look like my body's decent and i haven't been stuffing my face with mince pies knit dresses i love love to wear in winter i want to wear this tonight so this is another cutesy little look which i probably wear to the office it's this beautiful blue tweed skirt which i've actually pinned at the back it's slightly loose and this sleeveless white shirt which does have padded shoulders and i really love the collar on this because it's actually floppy it's not like stiff and it's got detailing down the front it's got these little pockets very simple but it's got a little something going on it's not boring this is something i could wear with a little cardigan thrown over because i love my purple set so much i actually picked up the same cardigan but in blue how cute is this i know a lot of you guys really like the purple set obviously i don't actually have blue chanel shoes to go with this so i've paired it with my carry blue manolos i love these looks they're so cutesy and they're just so nice to wear it looks like you're wearing chanel anything which has like pearl detailing or like chain detailing on a jacket or like tweed boucle something that looks polished refined i instantly feel like i'm wearing chanel which is not a bad thing because chanel clothes are expensive these are a great alternative i do love the plea in the front it looks like i'm wearing shorts but i'm in fact wearing a little skirt and to match 
how much blue is too much blue as this is something i'd probably wear to the office i've paired it with my unused blue pale hermes kelly honestly i've not used this since i got it i just got it because it was offered to me at the store i was that girl and now i instantly regret it i think this goes perfectly because how much blue really is too much blue i mean i've been buying blue things because i've got all these blue bags which I never wear. I want to wear with like blue ensembles, so I feel like this is perfect. Again, there's no like hardware detailing on this, although there is slightly on this, it's silver, and this has got gold hardware. Oh, and then again, the Manolos. But we can always mix those up and pair them with Dior's. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but these have really bad water stains on them. My dog decided to aggressively drink water and somehow all the water from the bowl ended up on my shoes so i don't know what i'm gonna have to do about these these are very well used i love these i don't know if this can be fixed i'm hoping they can be but if not we can always repurchase them i do really love these shoes they are classics at deal so i'm sure they're gonna always be there i just want to say i love this brand because you can buy full looks like full outfits from this brand I look expensive on a budget, which is fantastic. I just gravitated towards it because I love it so much. It's this really nice woolly houndstooth, like massive houndstooth print jumper. It's a cardigan. It's got these massive buttons at the front. And this wasn't how I planned on styling it in the video, but it's just something I can wear with everything. It's such a casual piece, which can actually elevate a very boring outfit. Houndstooth is like super big this season. I absolutely love houndstooth in winter and I love a massive print. This is like bold without being too in your face and belted with a pop of color. Wow. Belted gives it more of like a peplum kind of look. Cinches in your waist, looks amazing. And with a little pop of color, you're good to go. I love this. Paired with my favorite Laura Pianas. I'm obsessed with this look. I could even wear this with heels and just go to lunch. I'm always looking for like fun outerwear pieces, particularly because we're edging into fall in dubai i know a lot of places are already in fall however dubai literally has two seasons maybe three we're slowly getting there it's still currently 26 degrees celsius which is okay it's cooling down anything below 30 is like okay sweaters come out this would not be possible in london we'd be in bikinis in london but in dubai we are in a desert still so 26 degrees is slightly on the cooler side okay this next look is inspired by one of my favorite brands right now and that is valentino so we have a cute little mini skirt i love a pleated little mini skirt we love a schoolgirl vibe and this oversized cut out jumper i don't know if you guys have seen but all over my instagram feed i see really stunning girls and he's stunning oversized valentino cutout jumpers obviously this isn't the valentino print this is kind of like a different geometric print which is also actually very similar to a margella jumper that i saw recently and i absolutely love this i paired this with black stockings or tights and my new favorite valentino heels which have actually made me an entire foot taller than what i actually am I feel like I'm six foot and honestly, I was walking around in these trying to do my daily chores, chores, like washing my face and brushing my teeth and it was awful. I now really appreciate being small because I'm so much closer to the basin. I love this look. This is again, a look I could wear out to the office with a cute little black Birkin or to a dinner. This could be dinner appropriate, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, it is quite... It's like revealing, but not too revealing. And it's also perfect for Dubai winter because it's not freezing, but it's not boiling either. So we have ventilation, but we also wear knitwear and stockings. So at least one half is like fully covered. I love this. I am really obsessed with this look. I can't wait to wear it out. I actually picked up the sweater in a size medium. I wanted it a bit more oversized. The skirt I picked up in the smaller size, which is an extra small. It is still slightly loose, but the length is perfect. A belt can sort that out. And I'll show you guys my next look with this piece. You can actually wear like a white shirt underneath if you wanted to, but I like the look of my skin under. <laughs> okay, this next look is giving me major Blair Waldorf vibes. I love it so again i'm wearing the same skirt which i'm actually gonna be wearing in a few other looks because i love this skirt i just love wearing little skirts only because i like to wear skirts with tights i don't know why i just love wearing skirts in winter with tights i think it just looks so cute and they can be worn in so many different ways like with heels 
with boots, with flats. So today I'm wearing this really lovely shirt. It's a collarless shirt with puffy sleeves and stunning cuff accents. I love this look. It's just like, it's fitted, maybe a bit too fitted. Um, probably should have gone up a size. I did get the extra small. So if you are on the slightly bustier side, maybe go up one size. But I'm not complaining. I do love how it's fitted. And then it's got these puffy sleeves. It shouldn't be too fitted where you've got this kind of look going on where it's like you're about to pop out your shirt. <laughs> Obviously, the skirt is a little bit loose. So I've just put a belt on, but I do love the accent of a belt and I'm wearing it with my heels. You're gonna see me in these a lot this winter. I'm just obsessed, they're very comfortable. And I'm so glad, I don't know if I've said this, but I'm so glad chunky high platform heels are back because I'm glad I didn't check out any of my other heels. I had so many pairs of like chunky platform heels, which everyone really didn't like, but I was like, trust me guys, they're gonna make a comeback. I'm not getting rid of these. They're gonna be back. But anyways, back to the outfit. Love this look, so cute. And to top it off, if you don't wanna go out looking like this, you kinda of want to put a jumper on top and not be like, oh my God. When I tell you I carefully curated these items, I mean I carefully curated these items. This is a little look for me. I was actually planning on wearing this jumper with this piece, but I just saw it and I was like, no, this is so cute with a little Kelly. I love this look. And I'm gonna show you my other favorite piece that I picked up, which is so cute. Then we have this little vest. You can kind of like pull out the collar a little bit to show it. You can tie these up. I mean, that does look cute too, but I prefer it like more casual. Drop down. So cute. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, this, yeah, this is the look for me. I love this look. I feel like this is like the perfect base ensemble without obviously the jumper, but you can then build upon it. Winter's all about building layers without looking frumpy. And I feel like obviously if it's really cold. You can wear a thermal underneath the shirt. You can put this on top. You can even put that jumper on top and then a coat, or you can put a blazer and then a coat. The options are endless, but yeah, I love this. I actually picked this up in a medium. They do have this in different colors. I love this, an oversized kind of sweater vest without being like a frumpy sweater vest. The material's thin, I'm not gonna lie. It's not like a thick wool, which is actually quite nice. Perfect for Dubai winter. Of course, you can always, you know, tie these, make a cute bow. If you wanted it more fitted, you can get a smaller size. It actually looks like a pinafore now. And that reminds me of my school days. Like, I'm not mad about that. It is cute. <laughs> this is so cute. Oh my God. Again, guys, all the links to these items will be down in the description box below if you do like anything. I hope you do, because I'm having so much fun wearing this haul. And honestly, recently I've been really suffering with how I look and how I feel in my body. I had done a massive designer haul and I tried everything on Everything just looked awful. You know when you're just already not in that mindset and then you try something on and it's just either too big or it doesn't fit right and it just looks awful? That's how I felt. But with these pieces, I genuinely feel more confident because everything fits the way it should do and it looks the way it should do. So yeah, I'm really happy with these pieces. I'm so glad I picked these up. Of course, you always have the option to wear a pop of color, hardly colorful, but there is that. Or you can go and be boring like me and wear a little black bag. And this is again, something you can wear in the evenings, dressed up, maybe you can put like a Chanel brooch on. Alternatively, you can wear it with flats or even boots and wear it during the day for a more casual, muted sort of look. I'm very happy with this look. Okay, if you guys follow me, you'll probably already know this. I'm going to Sweden and I've been on the hunt for a winter coat because unfortunately, <laughs> I've left everything in London. Everything useful for winter weather is in London. Well, at least extreme cold. So I picked this up from Urban Revivo, this insane jacket, which I'm just obsessed with. And the reason why I'm obsessed with it is because it's got these toggles. I love a good jacket, which gives you shape and is comfortable and looks nice and feels nice, but also keeps you warm. So I love that this actually, if I zip it up, I've got almost like a belted kind of look, which is so cute. If it was just like a big, puffy, oversized jacket, I would just honestly feel like a toast of the marshmallow and that's not how I'm trying to live my life. 
I love this jacket. It really reminds me of like a Montclair jacket I've recently tried on, but much cheaper. It's fantastic. And it's obviously rainproof, waterproof. You can actually undo these. I've tightened them up quite tight, but I love this. This is the look I'm definitely gonna be wearing in Sweden with gloves, of course a beanie, and the hood, and the boots. You know I'm gonna be wearing my favorite Prada boots. Every chance I get to wear these boots, I'm in these boots. But saying that, I do need to get some snow boots. And yeah, I love this. It does come in other colors. I'm actually wearing, I think this is a size small. So it's got Velcro as well as a zip. Massive pockets, very convenient. I'm wearing three layers underneath so you can tell I'm boiling, but also I know I'm gonna be warm. A moment of appreciation for the boots. I didn't have the effort to put the pouches on, sorry. Not me doing the very least. Last outfit. I'm sad, but I'm also very happy I actually found some really nice pieces to wear. I love a knit dress. I love a knit dress. This is slightly on the thinner knit side. It's a size small, it's a bit loose, but it's like more on the conservative side because it's not as fitted. Although, oh my God, that's so cute. I love this because it's got a polo kind of neckline, buttons all the way down, which can all be opened, slim fitting sleeves. Everything is like very elegant, especially belted. I'm not a huge fan of like big belts. I feel like big, chunky belts are just not suitable for me. I love a thin, elegant belt, but obviously this has a gold detailing. This is also from Urban Revivo as well. It has these little faux pockets. So I've actually paired this look with my black Christian Louboutin heels. These were the first ever heels I got. They are the Lady Peep Sling. I got these when I was 16 for myself. It's not very warm, but obviously you can throw on a jacket or a cropped little blazer and it would look so stunning. I absolutely love this. I could again pair it with my black Chanel sling bags, but I wanted a bit more height for this look. And we're ready to go to the office. The boss has arrived. So cute, and I'm glad we get to end this on this look. I didn't actually plan out these looks. I honestly had so much fun just filming all these pieces. I got a bit carried away. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you Urban Revivo for sponsoring this video. I'm sure I'll be back with a bunch more of these videos because I personally, I'm obsessed. And also saying that, even though they are affordable, sometimes they have these insane sales. They just dropped an amazing Black Friday sale and hopefully they'll have another one soon. If you're lucky, maybe they'll have a sale on right now. So check it out. And there's also more details in my description box. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video.